What's up guys, my name is Sadan Amjad and in this video I will teach you 5 interesting effects that you must include in your videos. Let's begin. So the number one is text behind the subject. So let's create this one. First we have to right click, we have to copy this clip and now we have to paste this clip on top of its original track. Now go to the audio and mute the audio of this track. Now go to the video, go to the cutout and check auto cutout. It will remove the background of this video. Now if I hide this layer as you can see guys now we have the subject. Now we have to go to the text and we have to click here to add this text. Let's increase its duration. We can go to the basic and we can type a text. Now I'm going to increase my font size. Let's play this right here. And now let's go to the effects and now as you can see guys we have several effects. So I'm going to select this one. Now we can also add animation. So we can go to the in animation and now as you can see guys we have these several animations. So I'm going to add this one, we can increase the duration, we can go to the out animation and we can add out animation as well. So I'm thinking to add this one and let's increase the duration as well. Now we can select this text, we can select this video, right click and we can create a compound clip. And now check this out, we have the text behind this subject. Now number 2 we have this camera shake effect like an earthquake. Let's create this one. Go to the effects, go to the nightclub and in first row we have camera shake effect, add this one, we have shake effect, add this one. Now go to the lens folder and we have to add this zoom lens effect. Now I'm going to hide this one for now and now I'm going to place this effect where I want the camera shake. So I'm going to place this right here, select this one, we can increase the range, we can increase the speed, select this simple shake, we can lower the strength, we can lower the speed. So we will have this camera shake. Now I'm going to select this one, increase the speed, we can increase the range a bit. So we have this motion blur, select this one, we can lower the strength. So we will have this smooth camera shake. Now let's unhide this track, we can play this track right here. And now if I play this video as you can see guys, now we have this nice zoom camera shake effect. Now in the third place we have this question mark effect. So let's create this one. Now go to pixabay.com and search for question mark video and you have to download this video from this button. Now drag this in CapCut and drop this on top of your track. Now I'm going to trim this so match the duration of the original clip. We can select this one, we can go to the adjustment, we can lower the saturation. And now if we scroll down we can increase the brightness, we can increase the contrast, we can increase highlight, we can increase the shadow and we can also lower illumination. Let's sharpen this up. Now in basic in blend mode we can change this to screen. And now if I play this video as you can see guys now we have this amazing question mark. Now we can also go to the speed and we can increase the speed or we can lower the speed. And we can also check this smooth slow motion. So we will have this smooth slow motion effect. Now in number 4 we have this weird voice effect that most of the YouTubers use and it sounds very funny. So let's create this one. First of all select your clip and go to the audio. In audio we have voice effect, check this, click here and now we have to select tremble. Now if I play now this video four, we, we have, have this funny voice, voice effect, effect. we can also increase the frequency and we can also increase the amplitude to improve this effect even more. Now in number, four, we have this now in number 5 we have this black and white echo effect. So let's create this one. Select your clip, go to the adjustment, scroll down, we can lower the saturation to minus 50%. Now we can adjust this clip. Now we have to add voice effect. So go to the audio and we have to check voice effect. Click here and we have to select echo. Now I'm going to add 11 in quantity and I'm going to add 50 in strength. Now in number 5 we have this black and white echo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you want to see more videos then subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.